Welcome back to Pacific Drive, where you can see our car uh, is in pretty bad shape. Uh, this is because I just returned from a uh, like a two and a half or three hour jaunt into the zone. I was actually trying to execute on the objective in the upper right hand corner, go to back to Syriam. Pay a visit to the friendly dumpster out back. I always seem to find just what I need in there. Okay, thanks, Oppy. Yeah, so uh, it was. I had sat down to do kind of a short <laughs> mission, short play session, and it turned out that one thing led to another, and uh, that mission is very long. That objective takes a long time, and I was almost done. I was almost done. I was very excited, and I got killed. So uh, we're going to not try it again today. I'm going to fix up the car, and we're going to try doing something else. Uh, we did also get a lot of log entries. I'm not going to read them all right now. I'm going to sort of cover them as we re-encounter them. I think that'll be more interesting for for you as a viewer. So first we're going to start by healing. But this, I mean, for all I know, this episode might just be repairing all the damage because this car, it's in bad shape. Look, uh, this headlight is frazzled or whatever. It's, it's short-circuited. This headlight is, and the bulb is crushed. I think we're missing a wheel here, like all together. It's not flat, it's just gone. Uh, we're missing the hood panel. Oh yeah, everything's in bad shape. I wish there were more light in here. I did discover something uh, that I'm not sure how I missed before. I know how to get bulbs now. The sodium vapor lights, you can use the vacuum to get the bulbs out of them. And plus, you can break them down. Whoops. I didn't even realize that you could do that before. I thought I had tried. Anyway. Let's do what Oppie suggested. Actually, let's take a look at the status. Oh, we're disconnected? We're not even on this thing? Okay, hopefully the car starts. Oh my god, the car doesn't even start. Wow. Okay, let's see what we can get from the dumpster. Oh boy. Oh boy. That looks like a scrapper and some stuff. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. Our flare just went out. Uh, no, we don't need this in our hand. I don't know why I picked that up that way. Pick that up, thank you. Thought we had a scrapper in our hands. We, I had, I had filled the car with stuff, by the way. Um, and unfortunately, when you die, you lose all that. We had so much stuff. Crude headlight. Um, I don't want the putty in our hands. Or in that slot. Let me... Can I remove that? Unassign? No, I don't know how to unassign. Alright, well, I'm not going to worry about it. We definitely need putty. Let's light a flare. Whoops, let's throw a flare, I guess. Okay. We'll pick you up. Thank you. Oh, I'm having trouble with picking up today. That's so weird. All right, let's see if the dumpster will give us anything else. Like maybe an engine. Whoa, what is that? Rally steering wheel. Oh, very nice. No, I keep... Wow, I am having trouble with the controls today. Okay, so we got a new steering wheel, but our, our problem is... Um, I think we need an engine. Yes. So let's just... Bust it. So we need a mechanics kit. All right, let's drop this thing. Uh, let's drop that thing. Uh, why don't we go put our steering wheel in here? Uh, steering wheels? Oh, we have to go inventory. And there's a steering wheel kit. Deposit. Beautiful. Let's go back to... Let's go back to here. And... Oh, come on now. There we go. Steering wheel. Rally steering wheel. But will it actually make you go faster? Well, that's kind of boring looking compared to our spaceship one. Yeah, we're going to stay on spaceship for now. Okay, let's make a mechanics kit. At least we can... At least we can get connected. So here's our... Oh my gosh. Wow, look at all of that terribleness. The car is at 5%. 5%. Well, we can charge the battery, assuming the battery still is in the hood. Yep, okay. Okay. So we're gonna make a mechanics kit. If we can. We had so much stuff. I'm so unhappy that we lost it. I think we're gonna need an electrician's kit too. But let's see if we can fix our engine first. 
wait, I don't want to... Oh. <laughs> I just took out the engine. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's put you in our hand, in our hands. And now we're going to fix you, which is what I should have done before. Yeah, tap it with the wrench. If only that worked in real life. Okay, so now we need we I, we need a, an actual wheel. So I believe we have one in storage here. Oh, so upsetting. Okay, this is a spare tire. This is a spare tire. Okay, we don't have a summer tire, so we'll take the spare. I'm gonna install you. Okay, so that's one of our tires is in good shape. Uh, we need to. Okay, let's see the status of our headlights. So, what is this problem again? Short circuited? So, this needs an electrician's kit. And this is a crude headlight. And this is a real headlight? Yeah, and you just need a bulb, right? Yeah, see, and I'm trying to. Light fabrication. No, light replacement kit. I don't think we can open that. Let's try that. Uh, I don't. I don't, yeah, I we had so many bulbs. I wanted to do the... Oh, yeah, no. So we have nothing, of course. We can't do anything. So we're going to have to replace that, which is probably why the friendly dumpster gave us a crude headlight. So we're going to remove you. And we'll go drop you right in here. Get back what we can. Thank you, which is not much. And then we'll put the headlight in here. all you. Okay. Okay, one headlight is good. This one we need the electrician's kit. What else do we need? Um, okay, we're missing a, a panel. Okay, let's make the electrician's kit first. We'll just sort of do this one at a time. Put that in our hands. Okay, so now you're fixed, but we need to putty you up. Uh, I'm not sure I want to putty you yet. I, do we have chemicals? Let's see how much putty we can make, because that has been the deciding factor for us in a lot of cases. We can't make any. We have no chemicals. This is part of the problem I ran into before. So, oh, and then, uh, no, I was going to say we got the stuff to make a liberator, but we didn't, actually. We did find a whole bunch of lead stuff, but again... All useless. Okay, we need a panel here. Oh, boy. Um, we need to... I think it's going to be easier, kind of like we did last time, to make replacement parts. Right? Like... Alright, let's take this off. Okay, let's start with... Oh, let's start with picking all this stuff up. Okay, okay, let's put you away. Whoops, not drop you. Come on. Okay, so how many do how many uh, panels do we have? One, two, three. And then all three on uh, and then the other two is four. Five panels. Let's make five steel panels. Steel panel. That's doors. Steel panel. Two, there's three, four, five. Two total. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Because we can see all five of our panels are empty. Okay. So, four of them are going to sit on the ground. We're going to install you. Done. Inventory full. No, I want you in my hand, though. Thanks. Okay. Two. Three. How sad. Four. Oh, what happened? Oh, I moved back a little. Four. This should be the last one. Alright, because on the hood, or if this becomes the hood. Okay, that's the panels. And then we need one, two doors, right? Two doors. Uh, no, we need three doors, don't we? Yeah, we need a door back here. So three doors and both bumpers. Okay. 
Let's make the bumpers first. Okay, there are two bumpers. Oh, we have one bumper on the car? I thought I took off both bumpers. Well, let's go find out. Okay, so we should just need two doors. Let's just go double check. So if we go look at doors, insulated door in bad shape, insulated door in bad shape, three doors. All the panels should be good. All the bumpers are good. Okay, so let's go see if we can, actually, let's see what it takes to make an insulated door. We can only make one, see, because we're gonna be limited by our copper wire. So, we could make one more. Let's see what it takes to repair the ones we have. See, you we can repair for sure. Okay. You are in bad shape. Oh. Hmm. We could use a ceiling kit to fix this. We could use this uh, back door we could make uh, insulated. Okay, let's see how. Yeah, let's get it. Let's make a ceiling kit. Ceiling kit. Okay, we'll use that. Ceiling kit. We'll equip you. You might have to bang behind. Red on the Okay, now. Yeah, see, this thing is not in bad shape, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, putty you up. Yeah, the electricity was crazy. I went into I just blasted through a bunch of the the shock tourists. They really messed me up. Obviously, they almost left me dead, and they almost left the car dead. Okay, so let's see if we want to make we can make another insulated door. I don't know what else we would want copper wire for. Maybe it's a better headlight. But we can make, we can make a bulb. Side floodlights. We need five bulbs. And we don't have enough pressurized cartridges. That's the problem there. So I think we should. Well, both our headlights are are in decent shape, right? You just need to be healed. Fine, crude headlight. We'll heal you. You have gone in. You're good. You're from the dumpster. Let's see if the dumpster wants to give us anything else. It does not. It's had it with us. Okay, let's make let's make that back door. Well, actually, we'll make a side door insulated. Consumer feedback has consistently shown that humans respond poorly to electrocution based on their sentiments and or the smell of charred flesh. This door has been developed to minimize their discomfort. I think that's reasonable. Okay, so now we should be holding an insulated door. I like the idea of having that on the back, even though it probably, if I were designing this thing... Oh wow, oh wow, it looks so cool. If I were designing this thing, I think it would have more effect on the sides. But now we're just going to make two normal doors. There's one. There's two. Those are easy to make. So we may take this though as an opportunity to, to do a different decal on our on our car. Okay, so you want us to create a battery jumper. These are the survival tools, which definitely is useful. Oh, what do we need for that? Oh, we don't have enough copper wire. Well, okay. I guess I shouldn't have made that, that, uh, I guess I shouldn't have made that insulated door. So too bad for that. Let's, we can't, and we can't do anything about it. So let's, why are you disconnected? Okay, that's the stuff we want for our side lights. We're gonna collapse those though. Let's move you. Now, are we too far forward or too far back? What is the problem? Oh. Okay. 
There we go. Now we're connected. That's better. Fortunately, that checklist works whether we're connected or not. Okay, this tire needs some TLC. I'm gonna waste putty on, on a tire that barely needs it. Yeah. Yeah, you look like you're in good shape. You can see the these three tires, the one that the ones that aren't new. The ones that aren't new are a little bit darker because they have taken some damage. You know what? We'll, we're almost out of this putty, so we'll we'll do this tire. That might, yeah, and that got rid of our putty, which is fine. And then we we need a reusable flare. Let's make actually let's make a putty. Okay, and then a relightable flare. Great, those are super useful. Was used our the the relightable flare used our, our last copper wire. We're just gonna have to go get more copper wire. We're gonna put both those things in our outer storage. So you go in there. Actually, this we're gonna hang on to. The med kit can go in there. T-shirt. I don't know why we're walking around with some fabric. Wow. Yeah, we're in just in trouble here. In fact, uh, no, that's it. Okay. that in there okay what's next okay let's pick a spot so now I'm gonna go into the zone but uh, so what we're supposed to do is head up here and then it takes us some it forces us to go somewhere else I'm not gonna bother with that we're gonna go just to this one and see what's here have we been here before how do we know all the stuff that's there no I, I what can I undo this Oh, oh, that used a scanner charge. I understand now. Okay, so we're going to go to this one. This is Junction E6. We have not been here. Kalim for Gateway. It does not take much, uh, if I read that correctly. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to decal our car. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, let's decal our car. Let's do... You know what? We've got the space theme. Let's do this space business. Okay, equip. Whoop. Oh my gosh, I'm screwing up everything. Okay, inventory. Equip. Okay, let's start applying the decal. Oh. Glow in the dark stars and planets? Very nice. Oh, can we, can't, I can't see it on our chassis. Oh, that was weird. I wonder why did I apply it to instead. Okay, can't apply it to the bumper. Oh my god, I applied it to the chassis. Oh, okay, no, no. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm reapplying it to the wrong places over and over. Okay, insulated door. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that's the chassis, I see. Very nice. Okay, glow in the dark stars. Okay, we can't do it on the bumper. Uh, that's the chassis. Why can't we do this steel? There we go, steel panel. Our aching soul is durable, okay. And this, I think, is the last one. And we still have some charges of this thing left, I assume. Today, yeah, it I'm looks like... To share my what? Recipe with you. Oh but my I gosh, it's that crazy one. These cookies take me right back to my childhood. Growing up in a large family, it could be hard to find the time or space to make them. I remember the first time I cooked these as a child, and how I turned on the mixer too fast after adding all the flour... Suddenly, I was surrounded by a white cloud. We couldn't finish baking until the dust settled. This recipe calls for enough butter to create a parking lot. So much <laughs> butter bakes the cookies right into a puddle. 
one time they actually melted so aggressively in the oven that they glipped over the side of the pan. But so much butter gives the cookie its signature creamy taste and melt-in-your-mouth texture. Oh yeah, I bet it does. There is no such thing as too much butter. I mean, you know, depending on your point of view, I suppose. Well, that's already painted blue? Okay. You're painted blue. Okay, so we've painted, wait a minute, can I paint the front? No. Oh, that looks bad, that fruit bumper. Okay, we've painted the entire car blue, and we've put these decals on. Oh, I see there. It's the combined charges. Whatever. Okay, so now, now we're off to the zone. Let's turn you on. Okay, we will put on our headlights. And we're going to go into the zone, even though it's probably going to turn this episode into something a little bit too long. go we're off to junction I think it was E6 yes junction E6 radio station it's called junction E6 radio station residential damp forest outer zone let's take a look at our map oh heavy fog oh okay heavy fog the thick low-lying fog in this part of the zone never seems to lift okay we have some other oh this is the steering wheel rally steering wheel but will it actually make you go faster and we have this other condition hot dust i thought i read this but private field notes dr af kingi date unknown at present the majority of radiation detected in the zone can be categorized as beta particles or gamma rays behaving behaving almost exactly as we would expect nevertheless the device for needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway You'll have to feed anchors to the arc device until it's satisfied and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time okay thanks oppie nevertheless further study will still be required to explain the origin and highly variable intensity of this radiation which is unlike anything previously documented one particular kind of radiation frequently manifests as a highly localized phenomenon with no apparent source or focus and often displays changes and modes of behavior more consistent with cloud patterns these radiation microclimates are increasingly common and vary in intensity from relatively weak to extremely concentrated We've tried to discourage the use of the phrase, but local contractors have already taken to using the phrase hot dust to describe this unusual anomaly. While further study is obviously warranted, the extremely unpredictable activity and spontaneous appearance of this radiation has made examination extremely difficult. It is not currently a priority. We have some other notes that we can read. I don't know what that sound was. I'm not sure I like that sound. Anyway, so let's take a look at our map. We are here, and there is no exit, which is not surprising. So my objective is to hit these houses, hit this uh, radio or whatever it is, and then grab the anchors and get out. So let's start driving. Let's let everyone know we're here. Survive. What? Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. I they got like... themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. I wow. hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know. You, for example, Arpy, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Boy, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. 
for good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, RP. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. Okay, so yes, that I agree with that assessment from from uh, Tobias. So we got a whole bunch of cool stuff out of that box truck. We got two colors of new paint, burnt orange and red. We got a decal, and we also got a sticker. The stickers are the things that go on our back windshield or on our trunk windshield. Um, and we also got box truck, which I don't know where that is. I was trying to box truck. This is what we just found. Private field notes, Dr. Everett, date unknown. It never occurred to me that this would become a logistical nightmare. By the end of the decade, operations in the zone involved over 100 scientists, twice that in support staff and technicians, another 100 staff and engineering disciplines, and more than 2,000 military personnel. That last figure is particularly difficult to estimate. Oh, and trucks. Trucks all the time, rattling back and forth, moving gas, moving mechanical equipment, cabling, furniture. I guess we all need sofas, right? I'd have preferred a light rail network, or at least more freight. But after those early incidents, it's like everyone is scared to get on any train within 100 miles of this place. Like they're cursed or something. So it's trucks, all day and all night. You know what we brought to the zone? Traffic jams. And now, we're starting to move everything out again. Downsizing, they call it. Or just outright plundering abandoned equipment. Great, great, great. And then here's the paint that we got. Well, it's sticker. Sticker, sticker, sticker. Not today, Satan. Sticker. That's exactly what it says. Shouldn't you be practicing the fiddle? <laughs> okay. Uh, those are our other uh, stickers. Decals. We got the Not Today decal. Say no to the big stink from those big feet. Uh, uh, okay, that's weird. And then the colors of paint we got were burnt orange, which sounds cool, and gray. And did we get another one? Yes, and we got red. Let, uh, lather your car in the most passionate of tones. Danger red, a color frequently identified with bravery, success, and good fortune. Who says gray is boring? What did blue say? Blue was gentle yet strong, humble yet beautiful, lingering toward the moodiest end of the spectrum. The color blue is the true artist's choice. And Burnt Orange says, Is it getting hot in here, or is that just you? Actually, thermal exchange means that your presence will obviously contribute heat to the environment. So, it's actually kind of both? That's just silly. Okay, so we can scrap this thing. Uh, yeah, we. I guess... I, I, wait a minute, hold on. Let's see what we can make. Because we just got a ton of stuff out of the trunk. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't that much stuff. Okay, so what we really are looking for is enough to make, like, scrappers and, and impact hammers. And that's not going to come from this, because what we need is plastic, usually. So let's just move through the zone. We'll, we'll go to that house. Oh, wait. There's actually something here. If we zoom in... Oh, okay. I take back everything I just said. We're getting back out of the car. And we're going to look around a little. Okay. Let's see. There's some sort of... There's a... Um, bollard, but... Where is this... Oh, there's a house. Okay, or not a house. There's a construction. There should be two of these. I think one on each side of the road. This one has the lights on. Let's just check to see if there's a generator in back. Indeed, there is. Let's go in before we kill the generator. Uh. Oh, okay. Lights are on. Okay, what can we find in here? This is weird, too, because I thought I tested... I thought I checked before whether turning off the generator turns off the lights. Because I assumed it would not, it would, and and it didn't seem like the thing was lit up ahead of time. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I just made mistakes before. Uh, let's open this. Okay, Arda crate. Good stuff in here. Good stuff. It's nine volt batteries. I think we can get copper wire from that. Uh, we're gonna open this hazmat kit, uh, cabinet, and then we can get okay pressurized cartridges. We need that for bulbs. Okay, that is this place. Yeah, the lights are on in here. Okay, so now we're going to use the impact hammer on the generator. We're going to pick up all this stuff. And now, presumably, the lights are off in this thing. 
They are. I don't know why I, I thought that didn't do that before, but that's the deal. Okay. Okay, here's the box truck. Let's just get a look at the map. Oh, turn you off. Yeah, so there's a building on either side. Where is this building? I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, if it were like this one that we just looted, that would be a pretty good building to, to loot. What is... Oh, that's just... Uh, um, concrete blockers. Okay, this is what we just looted. Not seeing anything, and we're just burning through our flare. So I think I'm going to head back to the car. Yeah, there's the box truck. Wait, maybe it's by this antenna? Wait. Wait, which one's which here? Have we been in this one? Oh, is this the one we just went in? Oh, I think it is, which means I just walked past the other one. Okay. Let's go in this one. I found it and didn't even realize. Oh yeah, this is it, because it's locked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, back to the lair. We'll take everything, thank you. We'll take everything, thank you. There's just so much stuff I want to make, because we researched so many things, and then couldn't make any of it, and that's one of the reasons I went... Oh, boy. One of the reasons I went to the zone on the mission, the objective mission, I was hoping that I'd be able to get resources to make some of the cool stuff that we researched, but no luck. I got murdered. Okay. I like how our car glows in the dark now. That's really cool. But we can turn you off and not waste your power. Okay, you can barely see. Switch everything over. Yeah, that's good. We're going to close you. Excuse me. Do this. Move you over. That's a mechanics kit, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, and we're off. Turn on the lights. Turn on the engine. Go and drive, and then are we going to go to this radio station? Let's see. Let's see. Because we could just go grab the stability anchors. And then this could be a nice short jaunt into the zone. Oh, watch it, Carol. Here we go. Very, very foggy and dark. Oh, watch out for that concrete barrier. Ah, no, that's not good. Where are we? Oh. Okay, if we wanted to go to the... Hold on, car, stop moving. If we wanted to go to the radio thing over here, I think it's right behind us. But I think we're I think we're going to pass on that. Should we pass on that? Hold on a minute. Let's put you in park. Turn you off. I'm going to get out. And I'm going to look around quickly. Oh, is it right here? Oh, there is a little road here. But it's right up here. Can we get up here? Whoa! 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 Okay, we're gonna avoid that. Okay, that's no good. We're gonna just run over here. Yes, I know this is a car game, but I am running. It's true. Sometimes it's actually easier to run. Uh, and then sometimes it's not. Sizzling mist killing us. Okay, we... Ate the canned food. Okay, we're heading back to the car. I am spooked enough. We're not doing this. Okay, there's a giant boulder here. Okay, lighting a flare. No, I just threw a flare. Jeez. Alright, we're heading back to the car. This, there's a bollard there. What a mistake. Where's the car? The car's over here. Hey, wait a minute. Can we go up this whole road? 
Okay, the bollard's going away. I mean, the thing is right there. Oh, but there's sizzling mist in the way. That's the problem. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. We're not toying with you. We only have a couple flares. We just want to get back to the car. Get out of this zone. There's a bollard. I can hear a bollard blowing up behind us. See our car glowing in the distance. That's very nice. Okay. Let me get in the car. We get this radio station. Oops, I think I just turned on the wipers. I did. Oops. Okay. Put it in drive. Turn on the lights. Back up. And head down the road. Okay, there's a can opener. We're going to blast past it before it can re uh, return. And we're coming up on one of the buildings and one of the anchors. Okay, hold on. What is this here? That's just a bucket or a garbage can or something. Okay, lights are off. Pretty bright outside. Let's make another relightable flare. I think we have the materials to do it. Okay, that used our, our last copper wire, or in fact, the only copper wire we got, which is great. Flare's not on right now, though, because this is so bright, which I'm not complaining about. There's a dumpster here. Or chest. We'll take all of that. Thank you. Now we're going to light the flare. Oh, now we're going to turn off the flare. Can we get in here? We can. There are flickering lights in here. We're going to use the flare. Oh, a TV. Okay. What else is in here? Can we do anything with these things? Oh. Nothing in this crate. Nothing here. Nothing here. This radio. Can't do anything with this speaker. Okay. Let's switch to the scrapper. I'm going to break up this radio. Let's see a darn thing. TV's right here. We're going to break this thing up. This is a reminder of the thing over to the left on our to-do list is so that we can make side lights. But we need a lot of materials to do that. Okay, that's that. We're trying to conserve our relightable flare. Okay, we're right there. There's another place down the road. We can probably run back to the anchor. Yeah, let's uh let's get in. Oh, actually let's put our stuff away, of course. All of our takings, all of our loot. Here we go. Oh, what's that in front of us? It does look like a building. And there's supposed to be one on the map. And there's a gas station? But it looks closed. Okay, I'm going to park it here off the road. Oh god, this I thought this shadow was a person. That scared the heck out of me. Okay, oops. Let me get out. Turn on our flare. Let's see if there is gas here. Oh, radiation. We're 2.5 K rad. Okay. Anything in here of note? We can take some rad damage for a moment if there's some good stuff in here. Take all of that. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, there's stuff we could scrap. Yeah, I know we're in danger. Oh, and a workbench. But it doesn't look like we can make anything. Oh, because we're not... Because it's all in our car. Let's uh, scrap this TV. I'm willing to take a little damage. Okay. Nothing here. Nothing there. Is there a back room here? Okay, we're gonna... Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's get out of here. Can we take this poster? No. Okay. Yeah, let's get in the car. 
Actually, if we run over here, does the radiation go away? And what is this thing? Okay, it wants us to use a healing item. Is this just another anomaly? What is this? No, it's a broken matter transmuter or whatever it's called. Okay, we were briefly lowering our rads, but then they're back up. Let's just go to the car. Wait, what's that building? Okay, we're out of the rads. Using another canned food. That's the last of our canned food. Uh, today, welcome to our program, the assistant to the general manager of Section 1 Northern Facility, Dr. Kim Washington. Welcome. It's, I don't know why it's not saying it. Dr. Washington, I understand that you've lived here in the zone for some time. Yes, in fact, I was born and raised on the Olympic Peninsula. My choice to come back here was a mystery to some colleagues, but there is never a question in that I'd come home. I just figured it happened much later in my career, but here I am. What can you tell us about this new initiative you're spearheading? No, oh, this is where we went. My chief focus since rejoining the regulatory commission uh, was to put limb technology in the hands of the people. It's been 20 years since the zone... Oh, okay, of course it was a necessary action, both for saving lives and advancing research. But after two decades, it's time to share decades, what we've learned. Time to share what we've oh, learned. here we go. Other magic of what we've been able to create with limb tech. And that's all taking place with something you're calling the limb fair. Uh, that's right. Uh, we're bringing the wonder of wind waves to the residential scale. One lucky town on the Olympic Peninsula will be gifted the government sponsored building all the latest wind technology. Oh, Imagine sounds terrifying. The power of quantum oscillodynamics, nano normalization, and light shrunk down to the size of a tofu. How about that? That's a lot of fancy science terms, but uh, what does it all do? Whatever you want. That's the limit. We'll work with you to choose what limb tech best fits your personal or professional goals. Okay, so you said that... Okay, that sounds terrifying, given given what we know has happened. Okay, we're going into a raid, a rad zone. 5k, hot dust. We're eating. Come on, get it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, shoot, I tried to use it. No, no, no. Okay, I tried to use a healing uh, item, the healing kit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we might be dying again. Okay, let's get in the car. Let's get in the car. Okay, now we can use the healing item. Okay, now we're going to turn on the car. We're gonna put it in drive. We're gonna back up. Poor car is taken. Hey! Abductor, get out of here! Alright, so. Let's see. Is this. Do we have enough to open a gateway? There's three gateways. Whoa, hold on. We can link this gateway. Should we try getting more stable energy? I think we should. Let's see if we can get over there. Oops. Okay, let's see. So we want to go back up the road. Is that it glowing in the distance? I don't know, actually, this might be a mistake. It's kind of dangerous. Yeah, there's a lot of anomalies happening here. Oh, we might have lost a headlight, too. Yeah, we do have a headlight that's gone weak. Okay. Okay, we're near... We're near the anchor. Okay, I think we just lost another headlight. I'm not sure. Oh no, our headlights went out. Not sure why that would have happened. We're going to open 
the door in anticipation of coming back with an anchor. Okay, we were driving around with it open. Also, not great. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's find it. I'm not seeing any yellow glowing anything. Oh, this is pretty far, actually. It's up a hill. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. Whoop, where is it? Wait, what? Okay. Oh, there it is. And our flare has gone out. And we have no flares. So we're now just going to grab this stability anchor and run for the car. Okay, running for the car. Running for the car. Oh boy, okay. Running for the car, you can see it glowing. Okay, closing this door, getting in. Okay, we might, we might make it, we might make it. Let's take a look at our map. Okay, we're super close to this gateway. And for reasons I don't fully understand, it will allow us to activate it even though we're close. So we're going to hit E. We're going to activate this gateway. Okay, storm warning. Not surprising. Okay. There it is. Oh my gosh, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. This is great. It's a nice little jaunt into the zone. It's right here at the defunct big dance. Okay, successful trip. Boom. Our lights are off. Okay, we made it. Looks Less than like 30 minute journey. Well, once you get that unfortunate driving under control. Okay, thanks, Oppie. Okay, that didn't progress the story at all, but that's okay. Like that... That allowed us to get some stuff, you know, a sense of satisfaction. Um, very excited about it. So now I'm going to leave. Actually, I'm not going to. Okay, so I'm going to dumpster dive. See what the dumpster gives us. Did it give us a lit flare? Why did it? It did. It gave us a lit flare. That's hilarious. Some food. Some more food. I'm going to leave that lit flare right there. Let's see if it gives us more stuff. Okay, it is giving us more stuff. I figure, why not ask again? I think I think two is its limit. Okay, let's pick up this flare. Oh, I guess it might have given us putty as well. So, well, that was awesome. Actually, I guess we can drop this flare. Yeah, let's drop this flare. Don't really need it and get you out of our hands. We don't need you in our hand either. Okay, so I think we're gonna leave it there. That was a successful trip. Um, uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna leave it there. We'll come back. I, I might between episodes clean up a little bit, but thank you so much for your support. I love you very much. Please remember to have your pet spayed or neutered.